So what I'm about to tell you is from my own experience and not necessarily relatable to everyone. But I do believe this will help some of you that might be stuck where you are and are ready to try something new. If that is you, then this might be that new thing you're looking for. With this new thing, let's call it a mindset. I was able to climb from 2800 SR to 3283 in two days. That's over 400 points in two days. How'd I do it? Well, I just stopped flex picking. To quickly define flex picking, that's when you choose an appropriate role for your team's composition to help balance out the roles of tanks, healers, and damage dealers. I was doing this for a while and it works really well and I encourage everyone to do that in their games. However, I hit a wall. You see, I'd flex pick, mostly the healers mind you as I'm sure a lot of you have experience with, and what I'd see would be damage dealers not taking out targets, tanks off on a flank leaving the team wide open to be taken out, and healers just pocketing tanks only so they get gold healing even though their team would be falling apart. Very frustrating indeed. I chose this match to show you because our comp was against a standard team who had 2 tanks, 2 healers, and 2 DPS. Our comp though was 4 DPS. Ana was the only healer, and Roadhog the only tank. And we just stomped through this team. You see, in solo queue, comp isn't as important as personal skill, in my opinion. See, if you flex pick to say Reinhardt, and you don't play Reinhardt that much, you are technically throwing the game. You won't land good fire strikes, your charges will constantly miss getting no value out of it and leaving your team exposed for nothing. And your earth shatters won't be match saving game changing ultimates. You'll just be a guy holding a shield, which is only one fourth of what Reinhardt can contribute to the team. That's my guess as to what happened here. That the enemy team simply wanted a balanced comp where my team played who they knew how to play well and it worked out immensely. Now remember, I'm only talking about solo queue here maybe even dual queue. So as one of the DPS players on my pro team, I decided to stick to DPS and competitive no matter what. And I usually would lock in the safe DPS players that are self-sufficient, like Soldier and Tracer. Occasionally I'd run McCree or Farrah if I felt I could do it, but mostly played it safe with Soldier and Tracer and made sure that I played them so well that I basically played these heroes at a master skill level even though I was in Diamond. And that's how I climbed. You should focus on two or three heroes in a certain role and stick with them only. Again, this is just my own experience, so if you're still climbing by flex picking, then stick with that. And if you hit a wall where you just can't seem to climb any higher, then I'd recommend trying out what I'm suggesting. If you want to be a tank, then stick with only tanks. Doesn't matter if there's already two tanks and you think you should go healer. Stick with tanks. Same with healer. If there's already two healers, then stick with them and go healer. Most of the time one of the healers will switch off anyways. My own experience has been with DPS, but I've talked with some of my team members who have climbed with tanks and healers, so I can say that this is still true for those roles as well. As long as you play them so skillfully that you know the little nuances of those heroes, then I assure you, you will climb. Knowing the arc of Tracer's pulse bombs to stick to enemies from a distance, knowing how to land your Reinhardt charges consistently, landing those honest sleep darts at crucial moments to save the team from an ultimate, these little nuances are going to help you climb as long as you play the heroes well and you can't do that if you're switching not just heroes every match, but roles too. Now there are fair arguments to make for those saying you should learn one or two heroes in each category so that you can fill a role. But again, that to me is still flex picking and as long as it's working for you then keep doing that. This is for those who are doing their best to help the team and still can't climb because they may be spreading themselves too thin on their hero selection. You can't expect to climb to Masters if you are playing all these heroes averagely. I feel it's better to only play a few heroes in a certain role and get really, really good with them. Now, I don't feel that any tank or healer will help you climb. Lucio is a good example of this. I've played with some of the best Lucios on console. Let me tell you, trying to climb with Lucio is extremely difficult because everyone believes that it's his healing that Lucio gets the most value, which is simply not true. It's his speed boost. No need to heal if your teammates are too fast to be hit anyways. No need to heal if your tank is able to be on top of your enemy using Lucio's speed boost to get them in and out. But in solo queue when teams aren't that organized and not taking advantage of the speed boost then you just aren't getting value out of Lucio and should probably use another healer. Not saying it's impossible to climb in solo queue with Lucio, just that it's difficult. So I'm going to give you my list of heroes in each role that I believe are easy to climb with in solo queue without much coordination required. In DPS I feel Soldier and Tracer are the easiest to use. 
You can still climb with McCree, Farah, and Genji, for example. Just remember that you still have to play them really well and know that you are making it a bit more difficult for yourself being that they aren't as self-sufficient as Soldier and Tracer. For defense, I prefer to think of them as specialized DPS and not necessarily defense heroes. I would recommend Mei and Widowmaker for this category, though I feel the offense heroes are more reliable damage dealers. In tanks, I recommend Zarya and Roadhog. There are cases to be made for D.Va, Reinhardt, and Winston, but they require your team to really take advantage of the space you are creating for them, and if they don't, it will just fail. So Zarya and Roadhog are the safer picks. As healers, I recommend Zenyatta and Ana. Mercy's res is really good, but really only on the first point defense on hybrid maps like Numbani and capture points like Anubis. Halo maps where the point of contention is constantly shifting will make it difficult for Mercy to set up camp where her reses will get a lot of value. Picking between Ana and Zen really depends if the DPS are able to take out targets. If the DPS are doing fine, then I go with Ana for those massive burst heals. If they aren't doing that well, then Zen's Discord will make their jobs easier. I also think about if my team needs more survivability during a huge team push, and Zen's ultimate is much better suited than Ana's for that. But again, if you can play any other heroes in that role really well, such as Reinhardt or Mercy, then go for it because I believe performing well enough will make you climb naturally even if you get a few losses on the way. So that's the way I climbed 400 SR in two days with this new mindset. If you are stuck at your current SR, then I recommend trying this out and letting me know how it works out for you. So what do you guys think? Do you disagree or is this the answer you've been looking for? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share it, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit and I approve this message.